Shalom, call hello and la, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and the sing honors to hope that around the world. May Yah, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, continue to protect and guide our steps throughout these turbulent times. This is your brother Nadal coming to you with another one. And today's lesson is the hope of salvation. Once again, the hope of salvation. I'm going to get the uh, definition of salvation. Saving of the soul. That's right. The souls of the elect. Okay. How was shot second coming? Because he's coming to deliver his elect. And his elect will be shown uh, favor and grace in these times. Okay. From the karagma. Okay. That incision. That grain of rice. That uh, these devils are going to push upon the whole world. Okay. When they crash the, uh, the petrol dollar, they're going to uh, push that digital currency upon everybody. That's why everybody's uh, trying to make bank runs, where the case may be. But the money's not there. Okay? And they're also going to back everybody to a corner to make that decision, whether they serve the beast or y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai. So if you're a black, Latino, or Native American, which are fat Hebrew Israelites, it will behoove you to return to your power because he's making all this happen, which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the most high Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, okay? To save, that's ultimately what Yahweh Shai is coming back to do, to save his elect, okay? In these times, during World War Three, those missiles are shot off, okay? Upon the land of Babylon the Great, which is America, Okay, source of salvation. That's right, Yahweh Shah is that source of salvation. Okay, got down the word in that. The act of delivering from sin or saving from evil. And Yahweh Shah, okay, was put on the cross. Okay, for the whole nation of Israel for our sins. That's why his crucifixion was, was so hard. Okay. And there's even more, uh, Ammunition for the hopeful elect to go hard for you. I was shot to the best of your ability and being obedient. Okay. All right. A means of preserve from harm or unpleasantness. That's right. And he's going to preserve his uh, hopeful elect from the unpleasantness that's going to befall upon the earth. Okay. The famine. Okay. Uh, the sword. Ultimately, that that uh, those thermonuclear missiles, man, because those missiles are going to destroy everything, especially right here in America and every dwelling place where these either might these so-called white people dwell at. Okay, instead of being saved or preserved from harm, saving someone or something from harm or from an unpleasant situation, man, and that's what they hope for. Let I hope for. Okay, and I'm going to start off in. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 8. Okay. And go from there. God. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 8. But let us, who are of the day, this time with the hopeful let, with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, okay? Be sober, okay? Being uh, clear minded. Okay, no one was uh, going on around at, uh, at any given time. Okay, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. That's right, believing on the unbelievable and uh, the promises. Ultimately, that Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, has uh, promises uh, his beloved ones, those uh, uh, really the whole nation of Israel. But in these times, the uh, hopeful elect are the only ones that have that ultimate faith. Okay, in these scriptures and what y'all by showing y'all shots going to do. Okay, and for a helmet and hope of salvation because it's going to take up divine intervention. Okay, to deliver the hopeful let at any given time. Okay, because he's saving us right now because he has the uh, issues. Okay, the keys to hell. Okay, and life, which is Yahweh Shah. Okay, all judgment was given to him. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 
got. Okay, let's see, let's see. All right. Let's get up. Uh, all right, First John chapter 1, verse 7. But we walk in the light, which is the hopeful light, is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, because it's what has enlightened us from that darkness, okay? In dark, if you're in the dark, you can't see what's going on. Okay, then with the prophecies, okay, and the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay, what's coming upon the earth, and knowing that it is his will, okay, that all these uh, calamities and judgments is going on throughout the earth. As he is in, in the light, we have fellowship one with another, okay? Because all birds resort to their light, okay, okay which is his true, that pastor, okay? And the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, his son, cleansed us all, cleansed us, Salakia, from all sin. And that's why I was just talking about, that's why his, cruci his crucifixion was so uh, harsh. Because he took on all the iniquity of the nation of Israel. Okay. But in these times right now, he uh he's uh putting on for his elect, okay? Because two thirds of our people don't want to return or want Yahweh shot to rule over them. Okay, and those same ones are gonna be destroyed in these different times and left to their own devices, okay. Got here. Okay. Let's get uh Romans chapter 13, verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. That's right. What day? The evil day. Okay. When Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, gonna send these devils. Okay. At his uh anointed. Okay. And when they put their hands on the anointed, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, gonna lift that standard. Okay, with that spiritual power. Okay, make we get out of certain situations. Okay, have us to cloak or uh, escape. Okay, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Okay, the ways of this world, the ways of Esau, Edom, and these heathen, these heathen nations, mainly main these, e these Edomites, these so called white people, because they are invoked in wickedness. They were created to be the wicked. Okay. And you should never trust your enemy. And let us put on the armor of light. That's right. It's true. Okay. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Okay. And this is what's going to save you. Okay. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall be the stability of that time. And the fear of the Lord and the strength of salvation. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. What else we got? Uh. Okay, come on. We get Lamentations chapter 3, verse 26. It's good that a man, we hopefully let, okay, man, woman, child, and abiding them out there, should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation, the, pre the preservation or saving of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shah. That's right. And rehearsing the righteous acts and waiting on Yahweh, by Shem Shah. That's what he's asking us to do. Okay, what's well pleasing to our power and being obedient? Okay, and pull out the ways of this world because this world is about to be destroyed. Okay, all right, let's see what else we got. Let's see. Okay. Let's get First Peter chapter 1 and 13. Where for gird up your loins or your mind. That's right. Putting on that, that armor. That, that ultimate faith and confidence in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay. And knowing that he wants to show that power. Okay. That Yahweh will put up on him. Okay. And delivering us in these times. I will this out with a helpful number. Okay. Be sober and hope to the end. For the grace, that favor, okay, upon those select members of the elect, okay, that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's right, and that's when the new covenant starts, okay, when Yahweh Shah makes his second return, 
okay, and deliver his elect and destroy the landscape of America, these Edomites from well the well and place that they have upon the earth, okay, and these heathen nations. And ultimately, they're going to go into slavery for a thousand years, these Edomites, and be uh, exterminated over that 118 all day, okay. Let's see what we got. Uh -huh. Get a couple out there, powerful. That's gonna be it. Okay. Uh, salvation. Salakia. Salvation. I wanna go to the apocryphal. Okay, you're gonna get Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-five. Whosoever remaineth from these things that I have told thee shall escape. That's the remnant. Okay, the hopeful elect is going to be delivered. Okay, during Jacob's trouble, World War Three, the famine. Okay, things of that nature. Okay, and see my salvation, that preservation, and the end of your world, this present world. Esau, Esau, Edom's kingdom. They are ruling over the earth. That's why this 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 whole atmosphere that is, is going on right now. Is uh, geared towards you Israelites, okay, being destroyed by following the ways of this world, okay? And hand joining hand with the wicked. The wicked should not go unpunished, okay? So all you sellouts, you celebrities that have sold out, you're going to be destroyed. At least, y'all about to show me out shop with a fervent, strong spirit on you to come up out of that, okay? Let's see what else we got, okay? Second Ezra chapter nine verse eight shall be preserved from the said perils. Okay, these difficult trip, tri oh man, bad times. Okay, and shall see my salvation in my land, which is Jerusalem. Okay, well, where, where those gutter rats are uh, holding our land hostage out by doing all those abominations. Okay, and blast me against Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Which they're soon going to be destroyed, okay? Call all you by y'all by Shimmy Shot. And within my borders, for I have sanctified them, okay? Set them apart, okay? From For me from the beginning. That's it. That says elect, okay? And it's only fair to elect, get delivered, okay? Because there's with Yahweh Shot, okay? And now I am. While the uh, earth was. Uh, being cultivated and uh, laid as the foundation, okay? That's going to be in this lesson. I'm going to end up about some shallow one. I'm calling y'all Shirella. Why about Kusha, about Kusha, about Kusha. Y'all about Shiv, y'all about Kusha. Kawami, y'all about Kusha, y'all about Kusha. And y'all about Kusha, y'all about Kusha. 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 Y'all about Kusha, y'all about Kusha.